Hi, welcome back. Thanks for joining us today. Get local copy because that's what you want. Second part in my Clear Main Data series. I'm here with Digger. Let's talk about local copies. Okay, so most of the cases where you're training, especially on remote instances, but this can be also an on-prem, the data set that you need is somewhere not on the machine. And you start training by downloading the version of the data set that you need. Uh, and if you're lucky, if you have uh, an engineering team, they wrote something for you that will max out the bandwidth of whatever you're using, S3, GCP, Azure Blob, file system, whatever. Uh, and all you need to do is to say, I don't know, get local copy, and the data will download directly to where you're running your training. But uh, if you're alone, or if you don't have the resources to expend to write that, then you have to roll out some, um, I don't know, Boto code or something like that that uh, makes your code clunky, and also you might not get the maximum performance, and you miss out on things like caching, persistence, etc. And that's why uh, we have get local copy in our data set abstraction inside ClearML. Um, again, this is part of ClearML data. Once you register the data set with ClearML data, Again, it doesn't have to be on any managed storage that we control. Everything is your own, GDPR, etc. But we need to know where it is, and it needs to be registered in the system. And then when you are uh, uh, asking for the data set by name or by ID uh, as a Python object, you can get the data by using the clearml uh, get local copy method. Really simple, and we can have some code examples for that. Um, so, if you're wondering on how to do it, one is watch the previous episode on how to get the data set on, then it's two lines. It's data set get ID to get the Python object, and then get local copy to get the data on your training machine or testing machine. Okay, time for example. It's pretty simple. You get the ID of the train uh, data set from an artifact called data set metadata. It's a dictionary. Excuse me. Uh, I don't uh, think it's a good example because uh, I don't remember the ID of the data set. I need the name, not ID. Maybe we give something else? No, no. This is an example of how you would use it in a pipeline. Pipelines, uh, the IDs and the artifacts get created on the fly, so you probably don't have to memorize any ID. If you use it during research, you can definitely get the latest data set by name. The interface is there. You can just look it up in the docs. And we're back. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe, send to your friends, and use Kiriman data. Have fun. <laughs>